Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of January the 28th through to uh, February the 3rd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have Major Arcana Temperance in the upright, followed then by the Three of Pentacles reversed. And next we have the Five of Swords reversed, followed then by Page of Swords in the upright. And lastly, we have the Nine of Cups upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, Gemini, you have that of Temperance in the upright position. Temperance card mainly speaks of that, just temperance. It's uh, fairness, balance, and bringing everything together where things blend and mix very well. I call it my baker's card. Uh, this can be very uh, auspicious for you, those of you baking this week. Uh, this is where we're blending things together and coming up with like the perfect, perfect uh, uh, conclusion. So this can come about when, say, we have friends of different backgrounds and we're throwing a party and we're bringing them all together and uh, it's working out better than we even expected. Um, for others of you, this could represent uh, finding the perfect uh, job or career for yourself where it's uh, you're blending really well in with the people that you work with or for. So beautiful energy, very nice to have the temperance. It's very uh, healing as well. Now, coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the Three of Pentacles in the reverse position. Well, the Three of Pentacles reverse is kind of the opposite of the blending and mixing things well. So it could be that you come into the week with the Three of Pentacles energy, Three of Pentacles upright. This is where we are uh, on the same page with other people that we're um, working with or um, dealing with. This could be business partners and so forth. But coming off of the weekend energy, this is now in the reverse first position, indicating that um, it could be that you could maybe be having some problems with business partners or so forth, uh, but then it makes sense actually that the temperance energy is here because I don't think uh, it lasts long. Um, whatever's going on, maybe you're at odds with uh, some of the people you're working with or dealing with and uh, things are not going right because you're not on the same page, could be coming into the week like that, sort of with that energy. But look what's um, following it is the Five of Swords in the reverse position. The Five of Swords upright, this can represent conflict and uh, battle and verbal battles with other people. But when the card is inverted like this, we're coming out of the conflict and the battle. Um, the battle is over and we could have removed ourselves from it. And it could be because you're, the temperance energy is now here to help you to heal the situation and move on to more harmonious uh, situation. So that's definitely good news. Now, moving on towards the weekend of February 1st, we have the energies of the Page of Swords in the upright position. This is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, like yourself, and Libra and Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Now, pages bring in messages to us. They can be important messages, but remember, uh, the page is just at the early levels of uh, knowing what his uh, thoughts and information really is about. I always suggest people, if you, you're getting information from someone else or reading about it, what have you, I wouldn't take it at face value because with the Page of Swords, you do have to verify the information coming in. So the Page of Swords is here to bring you messages. Uh, written messages could be verbal messages, verbal information about something. But again, you would have to double check that. And if that's you, because that is air energy, maybe you need to check your facts before you uh, speak to other people. Now, the last card you have up to conclude your week is the beautiful energies and the Nine of Cups in the upright position. This is the wish card, Gemini. So you could be having a small wish or even a major wish that could come to pass uh, by late this week. Maybe it's because you're bringing everything into balance with this temperance here 
and uh, you know things do work out maybe the wish for some of you is to clear up this situation with co-workers or business partners and it all works out well for you for others of you it could be on another level because this is just a general read so for some of you it could be on the romantic level or the financial level um, maybe there's something that you're hoping for to happen and it comes about so that is your reading Gemini I hope this helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe otherwise I will see you next week bye bye for now